I check Instagram an awful lot when I'm not shadow banned, which historically has been most of the time. Hello YouTube, what is going on? If you're new here, my name is Brandon Dion and welcome to my channel. All right, so update on the whole shadow banning thing. Um, I'm still inactive on Instagram. I believe it was Tuesday. I could probably check my phone and confirm whether or not that's true, but yeah. <laughs> I think it was Tuesday when I got my first shadow ban post. After doing a lot of in-depth research about shadow banning, it suggested that I take a few days off of Instagram. So I'm still continuing those days off. I'm on day three. Today's my third day of being inactive on Instagram, and I gotta tell you guys, it is uncomfortable. It does it doesn't feel right, it feels wrong. I feel weird, like a habit has been broken for me. Like if you do something for like 30 days, it officially becomes a habit. So I've been posting on Instagram every single day and making a story every single day for months. It feels just so out of place and uncomfortable for me to not post and I don't like it. I gotta get back into it. I wanna start posting two times a day. I don't know if I have like the content like enough content to be able to do that or enough time because I've been working like every single day. I work the past five days in a row and I work tomorrow and the next day. So that's gonna be seven days and I work part time. Like the reason I work part time is so I don't have to work every single day, but nope, cause fuck you, Brandon. Here you go. Just work every single day anyway. I need a haircut. Like my hair is getting kind of long. Like one of this thing starts happening, it's time to cut the hair. The current time is five 10 p.m. I signed up to work part-time so I could have enough money basically to just survive. A lot of time to work on Instagram videos and vlog and edit and practice and do all that fun stuff. But yeah, so I'm not digging this working like seven days a week kind of thing. It's, it's no good. But anyway, yeah, so back to the shadow ban. Today is gonna be the last day that I'm inactive on Instagram and then tomorrow, which is Saturday, I'll be making a post. Now, what's kind of annoying about that is that I don't really have a good post for Saturday. See, the weekend is not the best time to post, so you don't want to post your best stuff on the weekends. And I have a really, really good post saved, but I don't want to post it on the weekend because the engagement isn't that good. So I'm probably going to hold off and make a new post to just post something tomorrow, I don't know. It really bugs me too because my last post, which was the uh, replace a word in a song name with banana, check it out. That post performed really well and it was shadow banned. So for a post to do that well that was shadow banned, it's just really sad because I just think of how viral it would have went if I wasn't shadow banned. Actually, I think I'm gonna hold my camera because the lighting is not very good at 510 in the evening in Canada during the winter. I mean, other than the fact that I can't post to Instagram and I just feel weird as shit not being able to post, I gotta say not checking it so much is totally like a beneficial thing. Like keep in mind I've been working a lot, but I haven't been distracted by my phone quite as much because when a post performs really well for me, like I just, I keep checking it. Like I really wanna see how many new followers I'm getting, how many likes and comments I'm getting, just check the engagement. You know, sometimes even I'll get reposts when that kind of thing happens. So I check Instagram an awful lot when I'm not shadow banned, which historically has been most of the time. Also, when I have poor performing posts, like sometimes I'll go periods where I won't get as many followers. For a while there, for like two weeks, I was getting a thousand followers a week. So I was just checking my phone way too much and it was super distracting and I had to set timers like I would only allow myself to check my phone and check Instagram like every 15 minutes, which sounds excessive to check your phone every 15 minutes and it is. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't check your phone that often. Yeah, so I really hope that this shadow ban goes away soon because I actually have a call planned with Jade Dharma Wangsa and yes, her last name is Dharma Wangsa. I have a coaching call planned for February 24th. Now, I already think that I have a pretty good grasp on Instagram but it's not gonna hurt to actually hear from a professional. She's gonna look at my account and just, we're gonna have a phone call and it's gonna go on her YouTube channel cause she does them completely for free and she posts them to her YouTube channel. So check her out if you're interested in learning more about your Instagram account from somebody who actually knows Instagram. Yeah, so I mean, my shadow ban needs to bite the dust for that because I wanna have some content there. I'll probably actually talk to her about shadow bans and see if I can learn a thing or two. But yeah, I didn't really have much to talk about tonight. I just wanted to update you guys on the shadow ban situation. I will be posting tomorrow for the first time in a few days and it's gonna be sweet, I'm excited. I also have to report the problem to Instagram, which I will be doing before I post, probably a couple hours before I do that. Anyway, if you guys are watching to the end of my vlog, you know I appreciate that, especially as a small YouTuber, you guys, it means a lot. With that being said, make sure you subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, and 
I will see you guys in the next video.